Hello everyone. How are all you people doing? So Dig a Hole, also known as Lightfoot Freddy, is another YouTuber. And we kind of ran into each other in the middle of one of my live streams last week. And I said, you know what? You know what, Lightfoot? You all right. You were genuinely, genuinely, alright. So let's do something together. So this is hopefully the start of a very fruitful relationship. He may be coming on the live stream next week. But in the meantime, he is driving a T-14 Armata. The, uh... The cannon is real, man. The cannon is just real. Believe in the cannon. Put faith into the cannon. Know the cannon. And enjoy the cannon. The church of the T-14 cannon. Boom! Oh, snap! That is a long range... Now he's... Kind of playing this against my policy. Long range sniper. And it's working! He is striking this Abrams right here in the side of the hole. You can see one of the marks right below the turret ring. And he just ricocheted the, the enemy T-14. But he's sniping. And uh, sniping is generally not something I would recommend ever doing in a main battle tank. But if it's working, I'm not going to argue. He's beyond anything's view range. And I'm zoomed in over here on his targets. Because this is what he's just blasting away at. This AM this XM1A3 has had all but one of his hit point all but one shot of his hit points ripped out of him by Lightfoot's snipiness. Ooh! And they don't even know where the shots are coming from! must be a great place for a tank destroyer, especially in these tier 10 battles like this. I can see it coming now. Boom! Oh, there's the ricochet on the Leopard 2A7140. So he's trying. But as you guys can see, this is not always working. Now I would never play a sniping main battle tank. I'd be playing up there on the front line. But in this particular situation, if you still got shots, and you don't need to move up any further to get those shots, you keep plugging away. It's when you run out of things to shoot at that he should probably be advancing. But he's just had a field day back here. 6,100 damage so far. That's not bad. Actually, it's almost twice as hit points in damage, but that's the T14 for you. You only have to get a couple penetrations to actually do your HP and damage, and from there, it's just gravy. Making up for your own tank and change. But now that he doesn't have any shots, Lightfoot is doing the uh, aggressive thing and advancing. He is a fresh tank. Hasn't taken any damage. You notice all the other vehicles up here, except for the Leopard 2A7 on his left, have taken hits. Ooh! Fancy shooting, Tex! An HE round would do it. An HE round would do it if he has one. Oh, But he did get, uh, his Sphinx buddy did get blown away by that. He does what any good main battle tank player would do. He takes the lick right on the chin and says, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to advance and there's nothing you can do about it. As this fresh T90MS comes up hunting Challenger 2 booty. And runs right headlong into fresh T-14 Armata. Ooh, that underplate, that underbelly. It's delicious. Oh, but that was a ricochet. However, ramming a Challenger 2 is not going to work out for you, T-90 MS. He's a lot heavier than you. And now the M8 is trying to snipe him from behind. But 
You know what? He's played his cards correctly. He has played measured levels of aggression. He basically sniped a lot of the game, but now that it's time to advance, he's leading the fucking charge. He's ahead of everyone. And that shot on the move. That shot on the move. Ooh, underneath him, but no pen. In a uh, in a vicious close range brawl, he is loaded. But the Leopard 2A7's weak spot is very, very small. And it took someone else coming in to take care of that shit. This literally leaves the mate. The M8 is the only one still alive. And uh, Lightfoot is kind of unaware of him. I gotta admit, I'm not quite sure what was going on at the end there. He was kind of looking around like... What? Where's the enemy? Oh, they're over there. They shot me an ass. Yeah, they kind of did Lightfoot. But the point here being... That a lot of people say I'm a little too aggressive as a player. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I will give you that. I am very, very, very hyper-aggressive. But this level of aggression is the level of aggression I firmly believe that every single player in the game can attain. So, if you'd like to check out Lightfoot's British channel, it's right there. Previous Armored Warfare video by me is also right off to my left. If you'd like to see more stuff by moi, Fiora, the crazy lady that you've been listening to this entire time, caress the subscribe button, seriously. Walk up to it. Walk right up to it like you would love her and just caress that cheek and go that face. I like that shit. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do so at the Patreon, guys. Or you can check out the ad at the end of the video. Lastly, make sure you've all hit the like button. Seriously! Yeah. Now I asked the, uh, the live stream chat to do this one. But they didn't. So... I am. Someone got me a belated birthday present, and I finally went over to collect it. Here she is. She's adorable. Apparently, I've now got a huge, but larger collection of boxes. You guys need to name her in the comments. Also, if you got this far into the video, make sure you wink. Seriously. Go to the comments right now and type wink, and you are totally in on the joke. But seriously, also let me know. Like, give her a name. I want to see the names you guys come up with. Because we're going to let you guys name that one. And, uh, that's it. Like, seriously, this is the part where I generally would say goodbye. See you later. I hope everything's good. Maybe. I don't know. You know what? Screw it. You guys stuck around this long? Let's open 32 crates. I want the knife! Or, that works. Holy shit, that's, that's amazeballs. That's, that's pretty damn good too. Let's go ahead and open the gold crates while we're just opening the big crates. The gold, the platinum first. Work our way to the silver. Them rolls, Fiora. D have I had... Every crate has five. Holy shit. How long is it going to take for me to get to a four? Because that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve so far. And every one of them had five. Thirteen in a row with five. Fourteen in a row with five. Sixteen in a row with five. 17 in a row with 5. How long is my luck going to hold out? We're into bronze. 18. 19. I swear, my.com did not... There we go! 19 in a row! I got 5 things in every crate 19 times in a row. Uh, uh, I believe that is a holy shit, Batman. Fiora done got the blingity, blingity, blingity going on the Fiora Rich Train. And, uh, it didn't stop for a while. Oh, we're back to fives. How long is that five going to last? Almost no time. Now it's like, yeah, yeah, you're going to get nothing but threes now, bitch. 
You even got five. You even got like four bronzes to throw five at you. What the shit? Just, just straight up, nineteen cases in a row. The five. Get into steel. Get into the to the last end crates, the crappy ones. The end of it all. Three more. Three more to go. Three more to go. Aren't you glad you stuck around for this? Did you have fun sticking around for the craziness that is me? If you did, by the way, make sure you share this shit on Facebook. Or go tell somebody on Steam. Or Twitter. Or if you have a freaking Reddit account, you better be putting me on Reddit. Seriously. I know who you are. I swear I do. I know who you are. Promise. Okay, seriously, I'll see you all later. Bye.